Let's look at my music box sets. Ahoy hoy everybody and welcome to this video and we're going to start looking at my big music box sets for um, that set of shelves there uh, working the way down so I've cleared the top of it so these are lots of CD box sets, some vinyl box sets, some are a bit of both I'm not going to go into great depth on them if I've already done an unboxing I'll let you know if I haven't, if there's something you really want me to unbox let me know in the comments below and I'll do an unboxing for them but most of these have been out for a long time so I don't see the point of just doing unboxing each one plus it will take ages if I do uh, the first thing that was up there technically isn't a box set but oh, it's this huge great box here this cost me absolutely nothing it was a competition prize the company that makes this product was doing a giveaway and I won it. Uh, it's worth, or it was worth at the time anyway, uh, £250 I think. But this is, oh, Kitchen Sink Publishing. I think it was the same company that used to do the, con well they might still do it, the concert live recordings and I so say they're doing a giveaway, they also do these books. KQ, which stands for King of Queens. So it's huge, it's sort of velvet lining on the box there. And it opens out. Oh, it's really heavy. I had to carry this home about a mile. God, my arms ached. Because I wasn't even when I tried to deliver it and I had to go and pick it up at the post office. So it is a book about Boy George. This is never something I would have bought. You know, I like Boy George, I'm not a huge fan, but I like him. But as I say, for a competition prize. So it's nice, again, velvet all down there. And then this is number 363 of 999. And it's basically just a big, let's try and get this. I'm not going to go through it all because it's all glossy paper. All that is life. This is done obviously with full approval from George. I mean, let's just flick to the important bits. Uh, the centre page. Signed by George and numbered. And then in the back ooh, is a 10 inch picture disc, which I've yet to play, which has got four, no, eight tracks on. So much love, pretty boys, be nice, Ken. Only one, Shadow Boxing Demo, Jazz Karma and Panic. But yeah, that's a really nice thing to have. Ooh. Just a bit awkward. <laughs> okay. Sort that out in a minute. Okay, next we have. This is a box set of all the Pretenders albums, uh, apart from their latest one, because this was released before then. So this is from 1979 to 1999. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight albums. Each album has at least the album on CD plus a DVD. Uh, on the DVDs are promo videos, live recordings, BBC appearances, that sort of thing, uh, mainly promos and TV appearances looking at it, but there are a couple that have got live recordings. And then this, most of them are two CDs and they've got all the B-sides, demos, live tracks, 12-inch mixes, all that sort of thing. 
Uh, very similar to the Belinda Carlisle box set that I showed. Or not box set, but Belinda Carlisle. Uh, sorry, I thought that was something on my T-shirt. It's not the light. It's the light coming through. Uh, the Belinda Carlisle releases I showed when I was showing my little CD box sets. Uh, done by Ed Sell, the same people. I do like the Pretenders, and it's a very nice set. Uh, a Duke special release. A nice wooden box this comes in. Um, this is Duke special live from the Empire Musical Belfast. These are highlights from a series of gigs he did there. Uh, some of his own stuff, some covers. So, comes with a CD, set of badges, DVD, which has got different tracks on it than the, from the, on the CD. And a set of drinks coasters. And then another Duke special. This is Five Nights at the Empire Limited Edition box set. This is from another run of gigs he did. This is number 671. And in here, got a nice little that's stuck in. And we have some pin badges, lyric book, DVD, Five Nights at the Empire, so it's highlights from the nights, plus loads of extras, and then Little Revolutions, which is a load of unreleased tracks, uh, so some stuff taken from radio, some uh, single versions of tracks, all sorts of stuff, live stuff, just a nice mixture. Uh, this is the complete Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy on CD. As you're probably aware, I'm collecting them on vinyl now, but this is what I had previously. So this is phases one to five on CD. They have recently done phase six which I will get for completeness sake. Uh, so they're all, it's all a nice little box with them all on and it's got a bonus disc as well. I'm trying to remember what's on here. Oh, it's a couple of programs about the Hitchhikers. This is probably loads of unboxings of on the net so I'm not going into too much detail. This is Lennon. Uh, has it got any name other than just Lennon? Don't think so. Um, so this has got a very nice package. So there's eight original albums digitally remastered using the original audio mixes. So that's John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band, Imagine, Sometime in New York City, Mind Games, Walls and Bridges, Rock and Roll, Double Fantasy and Milk and Honey. Uh, then it's got two bonus CDs featuring non-album singles and B-sides plus studio outtakes and home recordings, a six page hardback book and a hidden commemorative print. But yeah, it's, as I say, it's a really nice package. That's, there's bound to be unboxing of these on the net, so on YouTube, so I won't go any further on that. Uh, this next one is probably my favourite box set. This is Blur's 21. This to me is probably the perfect, in terms of content, the perfect box set. I don't just mean musically, although Blur are one of my favourite bands, but you know, due to the content that's on here. So it's a deluxe 21 disc set. So I will go into a bit of detail about this because it's so good. So housed in the front there are the discs. And as you can using a ribbon you can pull out a book and also a seven inch single which is Seymour which is Blur before they were Blur doing Superman which I haven't listened to yet uh, it's got a digital download code on which is long expired and then a nice book detailing all the contents and I've lost the ribbon, so I'll have to sort that in a minute. But then each album, so this is all the albums up to and including Think Tank, so basically everything apart from The Magic Whip. 
which obviously came out after this. So each album is two discs. Disc one is the album. Disc two is all the B-sides and any contemporary non-album tracks. So this example's got a fan club single on. Uh, Modern Life is Rubbish. Yeah, that's all just got B-sides. Part Life, again, all the B-sides. And a couple of Radio 1 acoustic versions. Uh, again, B-sides plus the Ina Kleiner Lift music, which was technically by Seymour from the War Child Help compilation, which I recently picked up for a pound. Uh, blur, again, all B-sides, some soundtrack uh, stuff, acoustic stuff, live stuff, nice mixture. Blur 13, uh, B-sides, plus it's got uh, the music as my radar single on here, which was the new tracks, uh, music as my radar and black book for the best of album. And Think Tank, again, B-Sides, uh, Fan Club Single, Cover Mount CD from the Observer, the tracks from that, and uh, Radio Session. And then on top of all that, you then get a further two Rarities compilations, each of which are two discs. So, disc one covers the Seymour era and the Leisure era. Disc two is Modern Life is Rubbish era. It's all demos. Alternative versions, uh, giveaway tracks, that sort of thing. And similarly, and Rarities 2, another two discs. So Park Life and Great Escape is on disc one. Again, mainly demos. And two has got Blur 13, the best of and the Think Tank eras. So there's not so much for each era. But again, sort of jams and mixes and full-length versions of songs that were only released in edited versions, uh, unreleased songs, Marianne Faithful track that Blur featured on, their Record Store Day 2010 single, all sorts on there. And then if that wasn't enough, you then get three DVDs. Disc one is a DVD release of VHS that was out. It's a Showtime, which was part of life era live recording at the Alexandra Palace. Uh, DVD, two, DVD 2 is a release of their Singles Night show at Wembley Arena where they, this is in support of the best of, they played all their singles in order. And DVD 3 has got the Live 13 release which was released in truncated form on No Distance Left to Run, the first No Distance Left to Run DVD, there's been two DVDs of that title, as you will have seen if you've watched my music DVD collection. Um, but this is the full version of that gig, and then it's got loads of bonus tracks, live performances going back to the Seymour days, BBC versions, and some promo videos as well. So yeah, as I say, I think it was pretty much, in terms of content, the perfect box set as far as I'm concerned. It, pretty much covers everything you would want it to I mean, you know although it's got a vinyl single in there it's not one where you're pointlessly having to buy everything on both CD and vinyl for those people who don't want vinyl and that's you know just pretty much perfect content so that is first installment that's the top of that cabinet uh, Follow on the playlist to see the rest and to see other collection videos on these playlists. You know what I mean. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.